Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to check in for the fourth and final week of December 2019. So in front of me, I've got my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner and this might be the quickest <laughs> check-in video I've ever done, depending on if I ramble a whole bunch, which, you know, typical, right? So um, as you will see, we did not really have anything going on this past week. We didn't buy groceries. Um, that was kind of the plan the whole time. We went this past Sunday and loaded up and that has carried us through. Um, ooh, that is really bright. Let me fix that, hopefully. Okay. Um, but that has carried us through till now. I'm filming this Friday morning, early Friday morning, um, to put up for you guys. And yeah, this we really haven't done like anything <laughs> so um so i'll be writing this in even though it's it doesn't really entirely matter all that much um so for grocery and household we spent zero so we still have uh the 633 remaining and then for gas we have spent zero, which means that we are ending the month still having $109.24 in that budget, which is great. That'll just go right into savings. And then zero was spent on business expenses, and that was over by $37.52. And then for bulk buys, we had zero throughout the whole month. That category is changing moving into 2020, by the way. Um, we're just gonna have a like food budget, which we, we did before and it worked really well for us. So we're gonna go back to that um, moving into the new year. So food will cover um, you know groceries and eating out and Costco and all that kind of stuff. And then eating out, we had 40 remaining last week, and that is all gone. All of our cash is all gone. So zero remaining there. And then fun money, I had 70 remaining last week, and I have zero remaining now. And then pocket, oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> I was like, $70 seems a little steep, but okay. This is where like tracking the cash might come in handy, but um, you know, I don't know. So we had 70 remaining in fun money, um, oh, which that's 70 remaining in fun. I'm all over the place this morning. Yeah, that sounds more right. $20 of pocket money. I'm not even awake yet, you guys. And then zero for unbudgeted. So, um, our totals, we'll go ahead and figure that out. If I can find my calculator. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out our totals for each category. So for grocery and household, we spent 219.75 in the first week, plus 120.43, plus 153.49. So a total of 493. 493.67 with $6.33 remaining. And then for gas, um, we budgeted 109. Or, ugh, oh my goodness, you guys. Seriously, all over the place. Um, Gas, we budgeted $300 and we had 109 remaining. So 102 or 109.24 minus 300. So we spent a total of 190.76 on gas and 109.24 remaining. Business expenses, I was over by $37.52 and I budgeted 100. So that means I spent one thirty-seven fifty-two, and over by thirty-seven dollars and fifty-two cents, 
bulk buys, um, our total budget for that was 300. So we spent all the bulk buys cash. Eating out was 200. And we spent all that. 5 money was 200. That's all gone. And pocket money was 200. And that is all gone. And then unbudgeted, we did not have any unbudgeted items. So that is cool. So that is how we ended the month of December. Um, things are gonna be, I think, looking a little different with my budget. I've been really pondering in 2020, I'm trying to declutter my home, get rid of stuff, simplify as much as I can simplify <laughs> in life because it is crazy. Like I was literally just talking to my husband about this yesterday, but just adding a second baby into the mix, like it is crazy how much busier we are. Like it's so nuts. Like she's just a little baby. <laughs> We're so busy now. Like even last night, um, I got off of work and we needed one of us to go to Costco. Um, we thought about bringing the whole family, but by the time I got off work, it was like dinner time and the kids needed to eat and all that kind of stuff. So um, but there was like still so much to get done around the house. Like we were out of clean bottles and the laundry needed to be switched over and you know, all the, all these things. Um, and so it was just like hard. Andrew ended up going, my husband ended up going and it was just like hard for him to leave the house cause he wanted to like help me and like all this stuff. But anyways, <laughs> We're just so busy these days. So I really have to think about what do I have time for? Like, how can I save some time? And I think what I'm going to do moving forward um, is instead of keeping everything in a deluxe monthly planner, I'm still going to do my weekly check-ins and I'm still going to do my pen and paper budget. But what I'm thinking of doing is putting this budget. Um, oh, and where's my life planner? So I've been working on setting up my life planner and I am moving back into an hourly. I think I talked about that in my last plan with me. Um, and I'm just waiting for some stickers to get here to film my next one. But, um, so you have this section or these like notes pages. I started setting this up already and I will film my setup video once I'm done with it. But I think I'm going to start putting my monthly budget in this notes page that goes like right before the month begins. Um, so you have like this notes page and then the dashboard pages and then your monthly spread and then it jumps into your weeks. So I think I'm going to put my budget here because it's just a great way to kind of capture all of our financial information, I guess you could say, um, in one place. And then I'm going to primarily use every dollar. Every dollar is the app that we have used for years now to track our finances. And the thing that I love about it is that my husband and I can both access it at any time. So last night when he went to Costco, he bought everything. He logged into the app. He put the transaction in and you can see right then and there without having to manually calculate anything yourself, how much you've has spent in the category, how much you have remaining in the category. And I can easily, and I used to do this actually on a, a channel I previously had, um, I used to check in with every dollar and I moved away from that and moved to the pen and paper stuff. But um, I think I'm going to go back to every dollar. So that's my plan right now. Um, I'm excited about it because I think it'll, it, it'll save me a lot of time and um, energy and stuff because I can just plug everything in. Because what's been happening a lot with these expenses is I'll like lose receipts or I'll just like not put anything in here for the whole week and then I have to go back and like look at my account and figure out like, okay, what was spent? What did we, like, what did we do? <laughs> um, and it just, it can be a lot. Plus it's more stickers that I have to use and buy and all that kind of stuff. So, Moving forward for January for our first weekly check-in, which will be posted next Friday, you guys will see a different type of check-in. I'll be using every dollar and I'll show you guys what that's all about. Um, 
I do have a video of how we use every dollar on my channel. If you want to check that out, it will obviously adjust a little bit since that's going to be our primary way of tracking things. In the past, I've used every dollar to sort of pre-plan our budget or like budget months in advance to kind of get an idea of where we're heading and all that kind of stuff. Um, but now it will be our primary way of tracking transactions versus doing it in the deluxe monthly planner. So again, I will be putting the monthly budget and I'll still have my monthly budget video. Um, I'll have my results video, all that kind of stuff um, in this notes page before the month begins. Um, and then I'll be doing my weekly check-in videos um, through every dollar and everything. So I will be posting my first one next Friday. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, we're also not really using cash as much this upcoming year because again, it got to be a lot with like, you know, my husband would run out, get groceries, forget cash. He'd buy something, we'd have to deposit cash, but oh, maybe we don't have the change we need to deposit the exact amount we need to and just all this stuff. And um, what happened a few times is we would buy something through debit and then we'd set aside the cash for going to the bank and then we would dip into that cash um, that was supposed to go in the bank if we like really needed it or we're in a bind or something like that or my husband would like take it out of the wrong category in the wallet and that sort of thing and it just got to be a little too messy and a little too crazy so we will be taking out cash for pocket money which is our personal spending money and for my daughter's commission money um, but other than that all of our categories will be debit so that will be another big change going into 2020 but it's another one that is going to save us a lot of time and headache and things like that so that is what I'm all about this upcoming year is getting into good, solid, simple routines and just decluttering and just simplifying my whole life. <laughs> That's what I need right now. So I hope you guys can understand that. If you have questions, comments at all, let me know in the comment section down below. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos and I will chat with you all later. Bye.